Friday I showed you how to make a lovely basic beef stew and today I'm going to show you how to make dumplings to put on the top. You're going to need 100 grams or just shy of 4 ounces of self-raising flour or you can use plain or all-purpose flour with 1 teaspoon of baking powder added. 50 grams or about one and a half ounces of suet, margarine or butter. Now suet is going to work the best but I couldn't get any today so I'm using dairy free margarine because most of my family are lactose intolerant. And finally you're going to need a little bit of water. Put your flour into a bowl and add the suet or margarine whatever you're using and rub that together until it's like breadcrumbs. This is a bit melty. Get your fingers in there. Mix it together. Now add just enough water to bring it together as a dough. The amount that you use is going to be different depending on whether you've used suet or margarine, the weather, all sorts of reasons are going to make it different. Now that has come together as a dough. Now break it into roughly walnut sized pieces. This will make about 12 dumplings and roll them into balls. To cook your dumplings, add a little bit of extra liquid to your stew. The amount that you add will depend on how many dumplings you're putting in and how much liquid your stew had in the first place. Pop your dumplings in the top. Bring up to a simmer and put the lid on, but we're not using it as a pressure cooker, so just sit the lid on top for roughly 20 minutes. It depends on how many you've put in and how big they are, but you can tell when they're cooked, they'll have risen up and they'll be nice and puffy. And then we have some lovely little dumplings that you can cook in absolutely any stew. And if you check the links either above this video on the website or below on YouTube, you can find the link to the beef stew that I've shown them with here. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up or click on the toast below to watch another one.